two and time now we're going to use this imports with the process we're going to use it to process to search for more than one word at a time and input it in a fault in a file the beautiful soup is to use is used to arrange the data that we get from the website that we were scraping from web scraping from the request is to get the website and the time is to stop it in case we ever need to stop it and see what's going on okay and so let's create oh Jesus let's create a function we're just gonna say ooh. we're just gonna call this word death you death scrape and we're just gonna add scrape word and we're going to create a list and we're going to call this add the word to the list so when we we've done that the next thing we need to do is we need to create a variable called Jiraiya and you're aware we're going to search up the website and the website is going to be called https slash www dot ooh, or dot dictionary dot com slash browse now the important thing about word scraping is you got to understand how the website was built and if we go to a dictionary com, you will see that this is the main this right over here is the main setting for you to search up a word and whatever word that comes after the slash right over here is the word that you're going to search up or the word that is going to give to you that's how the should I say schematic of dictionary com is I guess and with that we can just search up the definition we can just search up the definition word and give it a and then it has a s equals to t now personally I have not yet figured out what the s equals to t for is for but based on what I've seen without it it might give you an error so just in case we just put it there if it doesn't work with the s equals to t we'll remove it when we add a try accept attribute error catch okay so next we are going to what are we going to do next then we're going to say page create a variable called page and we'll say page equals to request that's what the request was for request dot get URL right and then this gets the URL and the information from the URL which is when we create a variable soup which we're going to equal to ooh, my bad beautiful too much effort let me just copy and paste beautiful soup and in beautiful soup we are going to say page dot content the content of the URL HTML dot parser uh, yep and then result equals to soup dot find class CSS one one and w w w s e one g u six six k four one and i know we're looking at this like what, what was that for but what this is for we're telling beautiful soup to find we are telling beautiful soup to find the class the uh, class element the element of a class called css1 css i forgot what this this is called but css is this 11 nws 
space e one g u six six k four one and this is important because oh my bad if y'all cannot see my screen at the moment but yeah my bad on that one we are not supposed to tell beautiful soup to find that we are supposed to tell it to find because I have two screens at the moment because I'm looking at the contents of the dictionary.com one zero five eight F J eight E one H K nine A T E four now, like I said, we are telling Beautiful Soup to find the class name this. So now the Beautiful Soup has found the class. Wait, 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 wait one minute. We need to say if not connection error. So that means if we do not have a connection error. It should do this else print connect to internet to word scrape to yeah word scrape okay so once we have done that then we're going to have a try and in this try we're going to say definition Create a variable called definition equals to results dot find all result dot find all span. So we're telling it to find all the all the span elements. Then once it finds all this, we will tell it to find all the span elements called with a class called one click content CSS CSS one seven five F seven five G zero E one Q three N K one V four. Oh. Yeah, somebody needs to come up with a better name for this class names. And then we will say for definition in oh my bad. For defined in definition. Words that append words that my bad words that append definitions. Defined. I know I'm going. I might be going fast, but I'll explain the call once we're done. Where's that pen? End of defined. Okay. Then next thing we are going to do is say except there was an attribute error because let's say the URL was not correct or the URL does not exist because that's when I told you that that sometimes the URL does not contain question mark s equals to t so if that URL does not exist what we're simply going to do is change the URL name instead of putting s equals to t we're just going to put this and 
copy the rest of this. Yep, 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 yep. My bad, let me fix this real quick. Once we copy the rest of that, then we would do the same thing that we did here. Try. Now, we are going to need to put one more accept attribute error. And in this accept attribute error, this is for if the word does not exist at all. Except, like we spelled the word wrong. One second. Attribute error. Print. Word spelled, word spelled wrong, cannot search. Okay. And we are going to append it to words.append. So now we have the definition down. I had to look at a few things on the other screen. Now we have the definition down. We want to get the synonyms. Okay? And to do this, what we are going to do is right over here. Words that append synonyms I don't know if I'm spelling this right okay and that's where the synonyms will start and then we are going to create a new URL right create a new URL URL equals to HT Yes. Now this time we are not going to be using dictionary.com because dictionary.com connects to theorist.com which is for synonyms and antonyms but we only want to get the synonyms and this is why it might get a little bit complicated. So for the, syn for the synonyms we are going to just type in the URL for theorist.com T-E-C-H-E-S-A-U-R-U-S dot com slash browse okay then we are going to say plus word plus s equals to t So since we have that down, it's not going to be exactly the same as the first one, but this time we are going to say page equals to request dot get URL and then soup oh soup equals to beautiful soup. 
page dot content hasty and oh content html dot parser result equals to soup soup dot find and we want to find the class class equals to CSS one one and W W S E one G U six six K four one try so in this chart there's something about theories.com because theories.com has more than one page for one word and it connects them through links so when I was looking at it I noticed that the page contents right and equals to results dot text we were trying to turn the result into text right the page contents had a class name called this and had a class name called CSS this like I said I don't know how to say that part but yeah it had a class name called CSS 11NWWS space E1GU66K41 and that's where it shows the number one page number two page number three page number four page and five page and as long as it goes and so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get those amount of pages so we can connect to it while we were searching the word that we are looking for and to do this this is why we have to turn first turn this class We have to first turn this class into text. And when we turn it into text, then we have to let's create another variable called NYS equals to N dot split on S. The reason is because when that when we split on S, because they have a pure VS and the next. So split on S, we take, we split on when it says previous, the end of periods, which as for S, we split on it and we get all the information, all the information after the S, right? Then we want to say in WN, creating a verbal called, so the NWS stands for N without S and NWN stands for N without N, S and N without the number N. Which is NWS one I guess is going to come in an array split on N. Okay. So now we're going to split on when it says next. After next group split. So now we have the numbers in between, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And that's what we need. So now we say we create a variable. Well, I forgot to create this. Call it amount equals to an empty array. Now we would say amount dot append. I know this code is a little bit janky, or should I say dirty? Well, I personally that's the way I saw was best to write it. I might clean it up later. I do not know yet. Amount that append in zero. So we're taking the first array, append that into the amount, right? And then we say num equals to when amount. So the amount of number, it will be the length, if that makes sense. The length of, the length it is. So let's say it says one, two, three, four, five. The length will be four. The length will be five. Wait, 
one, two, three, four, five. The length will be five. And we're going to call it that five and save it as a variable to none, right? Then we'll say create a variable called L O W N L O N W N equals to len W N zero. And the and L O N W N stands for length of number without number, so length of N W N, right? And then we will create an array. We will create a verb, another variable called repeats equals to false. And this is important because um, let's say the the length goes all the way to thirteen. That means the 13, the number 1 will repeat more than one time because it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the length of 1 will increase more than 1, will be repeated more than once. And because of that, we are going to create a for loop so that way we can know the true amount of it. If it does not repeat, we will just use the length. If it does repeat, we will not use the length. We will change it to the amount it repeats by. For I N N W N zero trial equals to N W N zero total equals to N W N equals to when N W N. One second. When I just use it, sometimes I really do be tripping. I just had to check back the screen to make sure I'm doing something right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So now we are going to say, if you wrote it down, NWN zero. And in this for loop, we say if I not in more. more and more did I create the variable the array called more more and more and more and more yes I got to create the thing called more equals to okay good 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 okay so if I not in more more that append I if I equals to trial total minus one VP equals to false break else Repeat equals to true. Break. Okay, let me explain this real quick. So first, we save the the trial and w and zero. So the string of the number. So let's say it's five. Let's say we have zero, one, two, three, four, five as strings. Then we save the length of n w and zero, right? So then we say if i not in more, that means 
if i is not in more so if if two is not in more it's going to append it to two if three is not in more it's going to append it to three if and it goes on like that then i said as if i equals to trial parentheses total minus one that means if i is equals to the last digit of the trial or should i say nwm zero repeats equals to false and it should break else if repeat equals to true break i just wanted to see if it repeated or not and if it did end it so now we're going to say if repeat equals to true l a equals to l o and w n minus two that means if it repeats if it repeats we want to get the last two digits if it does not repeat we just want to get the last one digit because if it will be last two digits that means let's say that number ends at 18 if ones one repeat one of the ones which it will because it's 18 1 8 so then we want to get the last two digits which will be 18 if it does not repeat and the number is 8 we'll just get 8 as the last digit G N W N equals to N W N zero number equals to int now we're changing we're changing G W N into int G N W N and this is why we created the L A variable. Elif else L A equals to L O N W N minus one G N W N equals to N W N zero number equals to int G N way okay we got that part now what we need to do is create a while variable while loop I mean not variable Jesus And in this while loop, while number not equals to equals to zero. If not connection error equals to true. Try definition equals to soup dot find all find all the elements that is a and class equals to c find all the elements with a with a class of css one w n d i p q e h four Seven five B and one four. Wait, oh Lord, for defined in definition words that append. Defined 
Did I already append? Did I already append scenes? Now once that once that is done, we will want to do words dot append. And and a sin no names. Now we'll create an exception. Accept attributes error. Accept the attribute error. And we want to do URL equals to HTTPS. And this attribute error is not because we got the wrong page. This attribute error is because we want to get the next number. When I say next number, because remember when I said when one word has multiple different pages for it. That's why we need to get to the next number, and to do that, we would do HTTPS www.dayusovice.com Browse Browse Slash Plus Word Plus Dash plus SDR number page equals to request dot get URL soup equals to beautiful soup page dot content HTML dot parser try definition equals to soup dot find all find all elements named A with a class of CSS dot one WN D IPQ EH four seven five BN one for the find in definition we want to say words dot append words dot append defined Should be it. No, why is that a of find? <laughs> now let's create one more accept attribute error. Accept attribute error. Now, this attribute error will be because word does not exist, because the word does not exist.
Now, if it works perfectly, try number try except number one. We will do number minus equals to one and change the URL name. URL equals to paste. Mm. Then change it on and we still HTTP server. And then we would say if number less than or equals to one break. But before we break, we would say what are we gonna say, y'all? All right, words dot pin and those synonyms. Now all this should work. Why is this showing so dark? So attribute error we say type error. Type error just pass for a type error. That should fix all the errors. What are the problems there? What are the problems? Module to more not a pen on subscriptable. Thirty six point five. Do we ever do worst out of pain? No. More cannot work. What's the problem with more though? Hmm. Let's just go with it regardless and see if it gives us an error later. So now we just want to copy this. Copy. Whereas Pen synonyms copy paste and yeah, now we just get to a pen. And that's it. So now we just need to do the main. Yep. 
and then this we set a variable. Oh shoot 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 shoot. Return words. And now we will say word equals to scrape, scrape, and we want to search up the word food, print word. Now all we got to do is run it. Connection to internet. That's interesting because my internet is good. So let's just fix this real quick. Yeah, more screen one more time. Okay, it's worth scraping now. Now all we gotta do is just wait. Definitions and the definitions, synonyms, definitions, synonyms. words spelled wrong. Let's go to the internet. Let's search the web.
Did I say interesting? Okay, first point of parents was not connection to error, or is that a plan definition, or was Maybe the problem was I got the wrong class name. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's that append? Results. Okay, so yeah, I might have gone into the wrong class name. So let's see. Div class one zero. Span. Span. Class one click content CFS one seven. One seven. That's why it's one seven F. Seven five G zero one Q three AK one one Q three AK one V four. Particularly kind of so blah, 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 blah. exactly. Okay. Okay, I just got the wrong class search. This is why it's important to search for the right class. Search for the right information. If not, you're just gonna get errors. Now let's go back to definition class. Am I, is this theories.com? This is theories.com. Let's go all the way to the end and get the right definition. Okay. Well, if we were to run this one more time. Okay, now that's an issue. Why is it still printing the result, the thing just definitions? Why is this printing the span content instead of? It did get the right information. Any nourishments taking blah 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 blah. But why is this? 
page content to result find all beautiful soup beautiful soup After Father God's the last prince in the content instead. Oh, that's my bad. I did define instead of define dot text. Lord, I can be slow sometimes. Okay. Define dot text. Okay, now let's try this one more time. Okay, so food definitions, any nourishment, substance that is eating drunk or otherwise taken into blah 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 from blah 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 web scrape now let's check the nurse the dictionary theories.com and try to get but before we do that maybe the same issue with the words was the same thing with the theories.com one second let me reduce my screen okay Dictionary.com, theories.com, use all print. Okay. Words, data pen, results. Let's go theories.com and try to figure it out. Dictionary.com. Okay, now we go to theories.com. Type in food, food. So it changes to lowercase. So maybe that was the problem. Okay. So now what if we were to food? Okay.
I am appending results so I can see exactly what's printing. So maybe if I got the wrong HTML class, I could just fix it real quick. Hmm. Result is not even printing. Let's delete this. Okay. Now let's go back to this. Oh my bad. This. So we're looking for, we are looking for saving as a food. Aspect. Okay, this is where it is. Let's just re-choose the screen real quick. Okay, so. We know that seven of food is in the list and huh. So I'm looking for UL. Thing, what did I call it? I said results equals the find. You just copy and paste this element. Copy element. Go back to this. Paste. Now we're just going to delete this. All of this. Mm -hmm. Once we delete it, we are going to copy this. Paste. Here. Then. Okay, now we're going to run this one more time. Hopefully it's working this time. Spelled wrong in my search. Okay, so by the looks of it, the theories.com is not working quite well. But I'm gonna stop right over here and I'll post the rest of the code, the clean code and GitHub so you guys can just go and get it. But yeah, that's how you build a worse a web scraper. Sadly I was not able to do the sit in this part, but I will just post it on GitHub when I figure it out. See y'all later. Peace.